Welcome to a new mini lesson. This one is going to be about so called random variables. We are just going to quickly define this term and I will give you several examples. The definition of the term random variable is very simple. It simply says that a random variable that I denote by capital X here is a quantity whose value depends on a random phenomenon, on a random process. Now, because random variables depend on a random process, it happens so that we cannot predict the value of the observation of the random variable. Nevertheless, uh, we can simulate random variables if we have so-called probability density function or the so-called cumulative distribution function of the random variable. So these are in fact functions by which random variables are described and I'm going to cover these functions in the next mini lessons. There are two groups of random variables, discrete and continuous. Let's have a look at the discrete random variables first. A discrete random variable basically is a variable and that can take values from only a finite set. I would like to give you an example of a discrete random variable. A typical example would be the number of fission neutrons. Imagine a fission reaction when the nucleus is split into several fission fragments and out of the fission fragments two or three neutrons are released. Now before the actual fission reaction happens we cannot predict with certainty how many neutrons will be released. We know uh, that it will be two or three and we know the probabilities with which two neutrons or three neutrons will be released. Another example of a discrete random variable is the type of nuclear reaction in a collision of neutron with some nucleus. So let's imagine we have a nucleus, for instance, uranium-235 and then we have a neutron flying towards the nucleus. So what can happen? The neutron can either scatter or it can be captured uh, and uranium-236 would be produced or it can be absorbed and it can cause fission. So then we would have fission reaction and the nucleus would split. So we have three possible reaction types, scattering, capture or fission. And again, we cannot know with certainty what reaction type would occur. We only know the probabilities associated with each reaction type. Let's have a look now at the other group of random variables, the continuous random variables. A continuous random variable is a variable that can take on a value out of an infinitely large set of possible values. The number of possible values is not limited. Uh, let's have a look at my favorite example of continuous random variable, which is the distance that neutron travels between collisions, between scattering collisions. Uh, imagine we have a fission reaction and a neutron is released, prompt neutron, very fast and it scatters. It makes number of collisions and eventually it is captured. Now, when you look at the distance that the neutron travels between the collision, uh, that is 
a continuous random variable because it cannot be predicted with certainty and there are infinitely many possible values so we know that it's a random uh, number which is positive and real and of course the number of real numbers within any interval is infinite therefore the distance between collisions is continuous random variable and another example of a continuous random variable could be the scattering angle now for simplicity let's just assume that we consider only two-dimensional neutron transport on xy plane so uh, in this case the scattering angle would be here and there are infinitely many values from 0 to 360 degrees that the scattering angle can take on therefore this variable is also a continuous random variable and that's all for now and i will see you in the next min lesson